Good morning and happy Easter Sunday everyone. It is my pleasure and joy to deliver God's message to you and celebrate His Resurrection Day. Ang title po ng ating message ngayong umaga ay patungkol sa The Joy of Finding the Resurrected Jesus. He has risen. Matatagpuan po natin ito sa Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35. Meron po, for scripture reading, meron po tayo dito ng video Bible. But still, I encourage you to open your Bibles with me for us to give respect and love, especially adoration to our God as we listen to His Word. Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. But they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleophas, asked him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things? he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then, some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. He said to them, How foolish you are! And how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken! Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. And he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There, they found the eleven and those with them assembled together and saying, It is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Ay kung lahat ay manalangin, manamin Diyos, we thank you for your son Jesus who died on our behalf. Sa kanyang pagsakripisyo, alangalan sa kanyang pag-ibig, kanyang pagmamahal at pagpapatawad sa kanyang mga kasalanan. Salamat din dahil nabuhay siyang bali. Sa pumagitan nun, nagkaroon kami ng pag-asa, 
kagumpay ang aming uh, buhay at uh, nagkakaroon kami ng kagalakan sa araw-araw. Salamat sa panampalataya na pinagalog mo sa amin for allowing us to see uh, your words for who you are sa aming buhay. Today, I must understand your word. Continue to reveal yourself in, in every home, Panginoon, na, na nakikinig ngayon uh, sa mensahe mo. Patoy mo kami samahan at salamat muli sa iyong presensya. We praise you and thank you. This is our prayer. This is me. Amen. Amen. So mga kapatid, we have before us this morning one of the most vivid and insightful accounts of our Lord's appearances after His resurrection. Luke is one of the four gospel writers to include this story. It is a story that reveals, yung nabasa, nakita natin kanina, reveals to us not only something about who we are, tayo bilang isang tao, but how Jesus opens our eyes to see Him, for who He is, and about how we can come to know Him. The journey to Emmaus, mentioned kanina, is both a literal and spiritual journey. On one hand, it recounts the story of two disciples who, after the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, they walked seven miles from Jerusalem to their village, Emmaus. On the other hand, it outlines for us, the journey that we all take from not recognizing Jesus to understanding what the scripture says about Him. So, pag-recognize natin kung sino ba talaga si Jesus. And finally, to testify we as a witness of what we have experienced to Him sa araw-araw. For today's sermon sentence, no, ito ni Nais kong baunin at panghawahan ng bawat ayas sa atin that Christ's resurrection allows us to see and experience His presence that grants real joy in our life with Him. Kahit saan tayo magpunta, dahil ang ating Panginoong Jesus ay nabuhay na. Meron tayong kagalakan at pag-asa na nagmumula sa kanyang presensya. So today, as we celebrate our Lord's Resurrection Day, we will be able to see four things, no, mga kapatid, four things that Jesus intends to show and unveil Himself to us. Ano na yung itong mga ginawa niya according to the passage that we have watched and we have read. No? Una, Jesus seek after us. No? Ganun na lamang yung effort niya, yung intention niya to reveal Himself to us. Although the disciples knew who Jesus was, they did not recognize Him. No, yung dalawang disciple na, nagpa, na sinamahan ng Jesus, they knew a lot about Him. They witnessed everything that happened to Jesus in Jerusalem. And they have heard, no doubt for sure, in many occasions that the things Jesus declared about Himself ay talagang na, totoo na witness nila yun. Yet, they were not able to recognize Jesus when they met Him on that road to Emmaus. And maaari may mga reason kung bakit hindi nila na-recognize si Jesus. So, isa sa mga na-observe ko, I have three observations here from the passage. No? Una, maaari si God, He kept them from recognizing Jesus. The original language na pagkakasalin dito, it conveys the sense that they were kept from recognizing Him because God has a purpose in blinding their eyes from reality. Jesus was not being apathetic nor harsh that time. Kalmado lang siya. His gradual revelation of Himself allowed them to learn certain lessons about trusting God's promises and, of course, witness the fulfillment of the Scriptures. The disciples were told about these events repeatedly, but they did not believe or have not fully understand or understood understood rather what it meant. 
Simula bata nila, alam nila yung Bible stories, stories sa Old Testament, and yet, hindi nila na-recognize yung fulfillment ng salita ng Diyos. And pangalawa, maaaring hindi nila na-recognize because their expectations were not met. met. <coughs> were not met. They have a preoccupied idea, maybe, of who Jesus was. His purpose, alam nila yun, and how he would do it. When things did not turn out according to their expectations, they dismissed everything they were told and considered what had happened as failure. Their hope and trust were replaced with doubt and they were disheartened. Andun agad yung pagdududa at kawala ng pag-asa. Well, God always has a plan. We are not always privy to that plan. Minsan, o kadalasan, hindi tayo aware o sensitive bilang isang tao kung ano ba talaga yung nais ng Panginoon. So when things do not turn out as we expect, we easily give up and admit defeat. Very relevant and very true yan sa ating mga buhay. Perhaps, it is wiser to see things differently and ask ourselves, maybe God is up to something else that we simply do not understand. Let me tell you, kapatid, may, may purpose ang Panginoon, may plano siya kung bakit niya hinaalaw. For example, ngayon, ang COVID-19 pandemic. May purpose siya. May dahilan siya kung bakit uh, hindi natin naunawa minsan yung nangyayari sa ating pamilya, sa ating buhay, sa karir, o sa eskwelahan. God is a purpose. And thirdly, na napansin ko dito, maybe they had little faith ang mga disciples. They heard the reports from women who went to the tomb. Magbasa natin yan sa verse 9 to 11, si the Mary Magdalene. These women have seen that empty tomb from them, for themselves and yet they did not believe. So the supernatural working of God to raise Jesus from the dead was beyond their comprehension. Nung mga hindi talaga nila agad mga maintindihan yan. If, even us, if we will put ourselves into their shoes, no? maaari hindi agad natin yung maunawaan. They did not seriously consider the true deity and power of God. Kasi, mas nangibabaw probably ang doubt or takot. So, be, tayo bilang isang tao, as we reflect from this passage, we need to be careful not to make the same mistake today, to discount what God has done and can do, simply because we cannot explain or understand it. While God often uses natural means to accomplish His will, He also can perform miracles and supernatural circumstances, because nothing is impossible with God. And we need faith to see it. We need faith to witness it, mga kapatid. So these two disciples, isa doon si Cleopas, knew something had happened. But it was beyond their level of faith to see and understand how things really were. Pababasa natin yan sa verse 15 to 25. Just because they know things about Jesus does not mean they truly knew Him. Just because they could see Him does not mean they could see who he was. Many believers today profess they know Jesus. May kita niya, may mga nagpupo sa Facebook, kilala ko si Jesus, I'm his follower, I love him, Jesus is alive, etc. They have heard about him, they read about him, read his word, pray in his name, and even claim to know, claim to follow and bear His name. We call ourselves Christians. Mga nandun yung pangalan ni Jesus. Would they recognize Him if they saw Him? Tayo kaya. Nakikita kaya natin, mararecognize kaya natin siya. If Jesus would walk with us, or if Jesus would talk to them, makikilala kaya nila. So knowing about Jesus and knowing Him personally, are two different things. Our eyes need to be open. And we need to have faith to be sensitive to His voice. 
to recognize his presence, his plans, and his directive at all times. That's why we need to be sensitive, mga kapatid. Have faith and believe na God is always in control, He is always present, and He is all-powerful. Okay? Amen. And paano ang bagay na, na, na ginawa ni Jesus? He intended to show and unveil Himself to us. He opens our eyes. Ito yung ginagawa niya, and ganun din ginawa niya sa mga disciples. Sa so verse 27, may kita natin na sinabi dyan. Then beginning with Moses and from all the prophets, Jesus interpreted for them the things concerning Himself in all the scriptures. While we do not know the specific passages Jesus used that time sa pagkwento niya, we are sure that their discussions revolved around the scriptures, showing them how the Old Testament pointed to Him and how the foretold prophecies has been fulfilled. Magbabasa natin yan dito, for example, sa Genesis 3.15. Maka rin dito nag-umpisa si Jesus kung paano, kung, nung in-explain niya sa mga disciples. No? Then God cursed the serpent saying, I will put hostility between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. And he will strike your head and you will strike his heel. Maari sinundan din Jesus from, from Isaiah 7.14 Sabi niya, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive, have a son, and name him Emmanuel. The God is with us. And Maari sinabi din Jesus, no? storyline niya, he quoted this passage, He was despised and rejected by men. A man of suffering who knew what sickness was. He was like one people turned away from him. He was despised and we did not value him. So we know Jesus, that Jesus walked them to the entirety of the revelation to show how it gave witness to who he was, why he had come, and why it was necessary. Jesus wanted them to see that if they would only believe what the scripture says about him, they would understand why he came and why he had to suffer on the cross. They would have known who he was. And the scripture gives testimony of who Jesus is. Magbabasa natin yan. Maraming archives, resources, pagdating sa Bible. The scripture opens our eyes to know Jesus and his truth. Isang nabanggit dyan, no? sa so verse, sa Luke chapter 16, 31, If they don't listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not persuade them if someone rises from the dead. No? So, sila kasi that time talagang educated sila and familiar sila sa stories ni Moses. No? Kung hindi sila naniwala doon, maaaring uh, hindi rin sila persuaded na may mabubuhay mula sa pagkakamatay. And another passage na katunayan na si Jesus ay totoo. Sabi dyan, Philip found Nathaniel and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about it in the law. And so did the prophets. Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. Sabi sa John 5:46, For if you believe Moses, you would believe me because he wrote about me. So dito may kita talaga natin na maraming passages pa rin sa Bible. Hindi lang itong mga na, na, na post ko. Hindi maraming tayo may kita about sa existence and identity of Jesus Christ. To some, Jesus was just a good man. A great prophet, a great teacher a revolutionary, a rebel who defiled Roman authorities. But outside of a knowledge of Scripture, you will never have a proper understanding of who Jesus is. Because it is important to believe in that all of Scripture ay sayita ng Panginoon. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon, mga kapatid, ang daming fake news. 
Ang tanging salita ng Panginoon lamang yung mapangahawakan natin na si Jesus ay namatay at nabuhay. Muli, siya ang ating tagapagligtas. He alone can save us. So it is either all of God's word or nothing at all. The Bible builds our faith, your faith, and only through faith can you come to know Jesus. The truth of scripture about Jesus leads to personal faith in Jesus. So God pretended these two disciples from recognizing Jesus to convey a deep truth. Even if we were to see, we still might not believe. We must trust the testimony of the scripture. Because the scripture tells us the truth about Jesus, about who God is, about our faith and our salvation. And thirdly, na ginawa ni Jesus para i-reveal ang kanyang sarili sa kanyang mga disciples. He revealed himself to them. May pakita talaga siya literally. It was only as they had fellowship with Jesus that He disclosed Himself to them. Jesus reveals himself to those whose eyes he has opened to the truths of his word. It is not without significance that it is around the supper table that Jesus, that the disciples are open and they see Jesus for who he really is. Now, may kita natin yan sa mga passages from New Testament na after ng kanyang resurrection, Marami siyang appearances na ang venue ay habagkainan or sa fellowship. No? Ito, mga passage na ito, maaari nyo siyang i-check mamaya. No? So, anong ibig sabihin kaya nito? Pagdating sa tuwing magpapakita si Jesus, lagi nasa dining table. The intimacy, I believe, the intimacy of fellowship Jesus reveals Himself to us is about uh, yung pinapakita niya na we are special. Na, nandun yung pagiging intentional niya, intimate na sa bawat isa sa atin. His working in our lives becomes clearer. No? And His provision and protection come into focus. But again, they did not recognize Him. Ay, sorry. Nung time na nagpakita si Jesus, no? nung na-recognize na nila, bigla na mga nag-disappear si Jesus. So, matunan natin dito, fellowship with Him has transcended from the physical realm. No? Yung visual seeing, literal, yung physical form ni Jesus, to the intangible realm. Jesus revealed that we can talk and commune with Him through His Word, through the eyes of faith. No? So as we reflect, mga kapatid, kamusta ang ating pananampalataya, ang ating relasyon sa Panginoon? Do we commune with Him? Are we able to see Him by faith? So ano po ang ating tugon sa, pag, sa pagkatapos nating maranasan at makita ang Kanya pagkilo sa ating buhay? No? And notice finally, yung, yung response ng mga disciples. Nung, nare, nung nakita na nila si Jesus, nung nawanan nila na siya nga si Jesus na nabuhay ng muli, they could not help themselves but share it to others. No? Kaya andito yung hamon ni Jesus nung siya ay umalis na sa mga disciples. Jesus compels us to testify. Mababasa natin yan sa verses 33 to 35. When your eyes have been opened, you will want others to have their eyes open. Diba? So kung narinig mo na, kapatid, narinig mo na at nabahita mo na that Christ has risen, sana nandun yung, yung joy and yung you cannot help yourself but share that good news to others na nabuhay siyang muli. Nasa pumagitan na tayo ay victorious na din. 
we have full of hope, full of joy and peace because of this. And by tayo sa mga disciples, can you imagine the excitement they must have felt? They said to one another, ito yung sinabi nila, ni, ni Cleopas, kanyang kasama, disciple din. <clears throat> they said to one another, Did not our hearts burn within us while He was speaking to us on the road? While He was explaining the scriptures to us? Their encounter with Jesus had been emotional. Nung papasin natin dito na nag-iinit, nagbabaga ang kanilang relationship, no? full of joy for sure. And it had stirred them on the inside and the manifestation outside. It had moved their hearts, their very hearts. And once moved, they could not help but share. But a response to their encounter with Jesus. Sana ganun din, when we encounter uh, Jesus, sana patuloy natin siyang binabahagi. No? Hindi lang tuwing mahal na araw, hindi lang tuwing birthday natin, or tuwing Pasko. Because tuloy-tuloy tayo to share the good news. No? And mapapasin ninyo that time na nagdalakad yung, mga, yung dalawang disciples, maaaring mapaham, maaaring delikado sa lugar na kanilang uh, dinadaanan, malalim na ang gabi, they left uh, uh, everything, yung kanilang pamilya, and just to go to Jerusalem. No? Para lang ibahagi yung mabuting balita. So they gave witness that Jesus was risen. That He had walked with them and talked with them, explained the scriptures to them, and broke bread at their table. All who have experienced the recent Savior should be moved with similar emotions. No? God can break our stony hearts kung hindi na tayo makapag-share, kung hindi na natin nababahagi sa iba, yung sakripisyong minawa, yung dakilang pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa atin na pinakita niya sa cross. At nabuhay siyang muli na mapagtagumpayan niya ito. All who have come to know Him should react the same way. We should not be able to contain it. It should compel us to testify, to testify about our life-changing experience in Jesus. There should be that sense of awe, adoration, and gratefulness. Gaya ng nabanggit nga dito ni Jesus kay Thomas in John 20, 29. Because you have seen me, you have believed. Those who believe without seeing are best. And now, mga kapatid, God, Jesus opened our eyes. To see by faith. Nakita na natin itong katanayan na bumula sa kanyang salita. So ano yung magiging response na dito? Are we grateful? Or are we nawala ba yung ating panampalataya din? Hindi dapat ganun. No. Uh, kahit sino yung makakita, kahit sino yung makaranas yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon ay talagang magbabago ng magbabago sa ating mga puso. And we are blessed to witness and see Christ's resurrection. And as I close, mga kapatid, may mga reflection questions lang ako kung gusto ibahagi sa inyo. First, are you allowing God to open your eyes to see His plans in faith? Are you sensitive to His voice and seeing His guidance daily? Alam mo ba na He is willing to to walk with you, talk with you, day by day? And naway no, maging sensitive tayo mo sa plano ng ano ba yung sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin. Are, you, are your encounters with Jesus move you to obedience and tell others about His wonderful work in your life? Huh? Or nagiging, minsan nagiging, nakasarili lang ba tayo? 
sa magandang balita na ito na si Jesus ay nabuhay. Sa pamagitan niya ay nagkaroon tayo ng pag-asa, buhay na walang hanggan, at napagpagupay na rin natin ang kamatayan. <clears throat> so, has your experience with Him been so real, so moving and life-changing? I hope na doon yung ating talagang pagtugon at pag-appreciate sa efforts ni Jesus, no? His intention to show and unveil Himself to us. At ito yung mga ginawa niya. Yung mga hamon niya sa atin. No? Jesus said after us. Ganun niya tayo kamahal. Gagawa siya ng paraan for us to understand and for us to see Him. And Jesus will not stop to open our eyes, open our minds, and our hearts to see Him face to face. And He will reveal Himself to us. And yung challenge dito sa atin, mga kapatid, Jesus compels us to testify, to, to share that experience, that relationship with Him to others. And sa panahon ngayon, mga kapatid, concerning sa nararanasan natin ngayon sa ating mundo, the problem is is not dying with COVID-19. The problem is dying without Jesus Christ. Naparito siya dito sa, sa lupa 2,000 years ago to save you, to forgive us. At sa gayon, pumanang lang tayo dito sa lupa, meron tayong uuwian na langit. Meron tayong buhay na walang hanggan sa pamangitan ni Yesus Christ ng Yesus. Sabi sa kanyang salita, sa so John 6.47, If you believe in Jesus Christ, you will be saved. Anyone who believes in me, he says, will be saved. Kapatid, I hope and pray that you, that you share Jesus through social media. Maaari niyong i-chat yung mga friends mo na hindi paalam yung good news that He has risen Maaaring tawagan niyo yung mga mahal sa buhay at ibahagi ang mabuting balita patungkol si Jesus. And let me end with this as conclusion. The recent life of Christ that transformed us should drive us to passionately share who He is to others. The recent life of Christ that transformed us should drive us to passionately share who He is to others. So ngayon mahal na araw mga kapatid, let's, let's express our love to Jesus by proclaiming His name to the world. And dahil nabuhay na siyang muli because He lives, no? nais kong awitin yung Him because He lives as we face tomorrow, as we face yung circumstances or trials na meron tayo ngayon sa ating pamilya at sa bundo. Nais nice kong kantahin ito. Uh, meron dyan yung salik. Maaaring yung kantahin with your family and with your uh, friends. No? And bago natin kawitin itong kantang ito, nais nice kong ibahagi yung quote na ito ni Paul Chapo. Because of the empty tomb, we have peace. In fact, not just peace. We have joy, we have hope, we have love because of Christ. Because of His resurrection, we can have peace during even the most troubling of times. Because we know He is in control of all that happens in the world. So mga kapatid, uh, kantahin natin itong uh, because he lives, 
na famous ano din uh, him as we respond to worship
Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, now receive God's benediction to all of us. Now to Him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of His glory with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to Him be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. And the people of God will say, Amen. Amen. Happy Resurrection Sunday, everyone. The Lord continue to bless us and give us joy and peace. God bless you.